what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl mahogany make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i drop another video i am doing good feeling good it is actually monday and i wanted to do this video for you guys because a lot of you were like asking what is your new everyday like and so i was like okay let me show you guys what a realistic morning routine per se spend breakfast with us is like for me as a single mom so as many of you may or may not know i'm currently in the process of going through a divorce i was married for eight years together with that person for 10 years and i'm in the middle of a divorce with six kids and they are all five and under so our new normal is different but it's a journey and so i know so many of you guys are with me on this journey so i want to show you like what does it look like in the mornings per se so let's go ahead and get into it the first thing i'm going to be doing is taking a shower i've already brushed my teeth and all of that stuff so i am getting ready to hop in the shower y'all hear the water running in the background so that i can go ahead and get dressed and get in my best just you gotta take care of yourself first like do your shower and just do all the things you need to do. I feel like as a mom and just as a person, you might not even be a mom, whoever you are. I feel like you just got to do, take care of you first because you can't pour from an empty cup. And I have definitely learned that so much in this new journey. So with that being said, I am getting ready to hop in the shower. Then I'm going to quickly get myself dressed. What I do is I try to get moving before the kids and ahead of the kids. That way I can take care of my self care and have like moments of stillness and then go ahead and you know start doing all the things that i need to do so the first things first is to literally take a shower i would love to do these amazing like shower things shower what you call it um y'all know them like aesthetic shower like it'd be wild on youtube and stuff like my other content creator friends be doing it too and they just like be showing like the water coming down and them scrubbing and all that and y'all not to knock that because i really wish i could but this is just real life i be so much in a rush at the same time trying to give myself time but also in a rush that it's just like i have to get in the shower and get out so that's literally what i am getting ready to do i also have an instacart order that is on the way um i ordered instacart so that i could get some groceries in because i'm unable to actually leave out of the house today um but anyway, we'll get into all that. Let me just go and take the shower and then I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We're pausing real quick to share a little bit about my Patreon. Love y'all. What's going on, guys? It's your girl Mahogany. And if you don't know already, I am also on Patreon. Click the link in the description box to join my Patreon. On my Patreon, I share the real the raw and the uncut of my journey, especially my healing journey, going through a divorce, what that looks like, how has that affected my mental health, the kids, and also details around the affair with receipts. I share all of that on my Patreon. And of course, with my YouTube family, I share a lot with you guys too. And some of y'all love what you get, but there's a group of y'all that are like, I wanna know more. I want to know deeper. I want to know just, how are you doing today mentally? Some things that I can't share publicly on YouTube. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely head over to my Patreon. It's some of you that are like, hey, I get it. What you went through was hurtful. It wasn't right. And I want to support you in any kind of way. I don't care what you post on your Patreon. I want to be a part. Definitely click the link in my description box. And I have gotten so many comments from people that are like, I'm going through what you're going through right now, or I've been there. And I want a sister, someone that I can talk to about this situation and we can have real conversations. If that's you, my Patreon is definitely for you too. So click the link in the description box and join me on Patreon as we grow, heal, and be our best selves over there. See you on Patreon. I am dressed. I just really put on like a crop top and some shorts. Um, all smelling good with my perfume. Even if I'm lounging around, love my perfume on. Love feeling good. I love just the whole self-care element of everything. Ugh, it just sets the tone for my day. So, usually though, before I hop in the shower, I do like to go for a morning run. That's one thing that I've been doing. And I usually run like 1.2 miles because that's pretty much like 
my whole like street per se and so i do run that i did not do that this morning so that's something that's not in the uh routine but what i'll do is like when i don't run in the morning in the evening what i'll do is like i'll walk and then i'll do some in-home exercises but i really do love the runs in the morning because i'm able to clear my head but i just wasn't able to do that this morning so without further ado as y'all see my instacart i have been living for instacart y'all because it's like so easy and convenient don't get me wrong i do love going to the grocery store but with me being a single mom right now and just the whole co-parenting schedule sometimes i cannot get out of the house like that's just what it is i can't get out of the house because i don't have anybody that can watch the kiddos and different things like that and so when the co-parenting schedule works as it's supposed to it gives me like my mornings or weekends but it really just has not been working at all and so with that being said i have not i wasn't able to leave over the weekend and it was actually supposed to be my weekend but i was you know at the house and just different things like that and so nonetheless i had to order instacart and instacart has been a life lifesaver so if you are a single parent if you can afford instacart i like it um a lot of times they do sometimes they may forget one thing and i know that could be a deal breaker for some of y'all but they usually do credit your account if they do a lot of times though they actually bring more stuff than i ask they may bring two quantities or something of something and so it's very interesting how all of that works but my stuff is here and i'm getting ready to put it up and then i am going to go ahead and cook breakfast. Now, let me be very clear. Um, my mother-in-law, she does come over the house different times as well as my sister-in-law. They've been really supportive with me, of me during this time. So they do come over from time to time and are able to give me breaks and stuff. But, you know, as I shared with you guys in other videos, I'm really trying to be more vulnerable, be more not afraid to ask for help. And so I didn't even ask, I really just, was like, okay, I gotta do what I gotta do and I'm gonna order Instacart. But I'm trying to lean more into my village. But when you're someone who just, I did a whole like video about this, but when you're someone who doesn't like ask for help, not from a prideful standpoint, but you a learned behavior that you're supposed to help everybody else, nobody's supposed to help you, you know? And so you don't even feel sometimes worthy of help. It's like, I gotta figure it out, I gotta solve it. And I gotta be available to help other people. People don't got time to help me. And it's like something that I'm unlearning in therapy while also, you know, going to therapy for everything else that I want through. But anywho, y'all know I'll talk. So let's go ahead and put up these groceries and then I'm gonna start cooking breakfast. remember i had shared this when you know we were doing like the family videos on the jackson atlanta this was months almost half probably half a year ago um six months or more ago i had pretty much shared that i wanted to do like a pantry organization and all of that stuff and never did it but i'm really thinking about having well not thinking about i am gonna have when i move a my pantry to be like organized with the labels and all of that Cause right now, just seeing the way my pantry is, there's a lot of stuff in there, but it's, it just makes me, I have, I think I have a little bit of OCD because it's like, uh, I want all the cereals to be here, all the oatmeals to be here, all the chips to be here, all this here, here, here. And when I see that it's not like that, it's like, I thank God for it being stocked and it being full. I thank God for that. And so I don't complain. It's like, I want to be more organized, if that makes sense. So do y'all be still keeping the grocery bags? I throw mine out, like I keep some every now and then, but I'm about to throw these out. But without further ado, I am getting ready to go ahead and um, make some breakfast. As y'all see right here, these are some Pampers and then I got another big pack over there that y'all saw, that's for the baby. And then these are for like miles and stuff. But we have a real conversation about potty training, especially potty training and potty training boys. 
oh, it is not for the week, okay? My, if you're new here, I have two oldest sons. They're twins, Justin and Marcel. One has autism, which is Justin. And so potty training him has been a little bit more challenging, but honestly, he's been doing really, really good. And I feel like he's almost there. And then with Marcel, it was super easy to potty train him. But I will say that when the whole split started happening and things in our house started happening, he did start regressing a little bit. So I was disappointed in that, but I was like, okay, I can't beat him up about that because I mean, it's a lot of moving parts. Mama trying to figure out how to make it through, but I'm glad that we're back on track with him. I really just got him some like Hot Wheels because y'all know he loves cars. So I really went all in with like giving him Hot Wheel underwear and just really motivating him because it was a tough time in my house. Not just so much like arguments between my kid's father and I, not even that, just trying to navigate and figure out our new normal. So I talked to a lot of other people and they said regression was normal, but still it just it's tough when you already are trying to do so much and you know to see your kids do something and then not do it again and you know it just was a lot but anyway y'all sometimes i'm gonna cry let me go see what's going on with these boys all right y'all so i'm back y'all brothers arguing per normal i don't know what it is with this new phase my kids have entered into they just and i mean i never had a sibling that was so close to me granted my sibling, my kids have twins and stuff so I don't know how that really is, but it's just like, they argue, they fight, they cry, and then they make back up, and I want them to make back up, but it's just like, y'all, can y'all stop? Come on, stop fighting, stop fighting. But comment down below if y'all have siblings, and it just be like that, because I don't know. I do have a sister, we're five years apart, but we never was like catty or anything, or went at each other. If anything, I just understood her more, really. But anywho, I am getting ready to cook breakfast. I am going to be making some pancakes, eggs, and I'm going to do like some yogurt. I'm going to lean on the side. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, but probably some pancakes, eggs, yogurt. I want some, I want to add some fruit. But as y'all saw, I ordered all my groceries from Kroger and I do not like their fruit at all. But um, I'm probably going to have to do a separate order. You know what? I wonder could I edit it all to the same order. Have y'all ever did that? I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm still new to Instacart. But I need some fruit. And it will be great if it was pre-cut. But if not, I'll take it. But pre-cut will be better. Let's go and start cooking breakfast, though. and different things of that nature i will um i'm gonna just go ahead and put some butter over here too for when that time comes if i have photo shoots and things like that maybe on monday or whatever the case may be depending on what kind of meetings i have and things like that let me move y'all down i will pre-make their pancakes and then i will freeze them that way they still have homemade pancakes but they're easy for Whoever's watching them, whether it's a babysitter, a family member, or 
Um, in some cases, they're dead. It just all depends if it does work out like that. Uh, they're able to literally just take the pancakes out of the freezer and get to cooking them. Same thing with fried egg. I do freeze fried egg from time to time, but not really that much, you know, because just like, I feel like eggs are so simple that anybody can whip them up. But given how many kids I have, when I'm not here, I do try to make things easy for whoever is here. So whether it's a family member or a, whoever it is, whoever it is, I try to make things super easy for them so they're not having to do so much work because the thing about it, six kids is a lot for anybody if you're not used to them. And so I just, it's always been in me to just make things as easy as I possibly can for anybody that's caring for my kids so that they can really focus on the main thing, which is caring for them. They don't gotta just be focused on cooking and different things like that. Now, when I move into my own place, I'ma see, I might have things set up differently just because I'm gonna be alone. And so, I may need to just have different kind of help, you know? And so whoever helps me then, I do plan to like get a housekeeper as well as uh, someone who can watch the kids. I was thinking about getting like an au pair. I've had a lot of my friends that got kids tell me about au pairs. Comment down below what y'all think about an au pair. And that's someone that like, who actually lives with you to take care of your kids. That's an option. Um, just all depends because I'm gonna be doing things by myself. So when I was with my partner, we had a nanny and babysitters and everything like that. But it was still when the nanny wasn't there, when the babysitter wasn't there, the workload was split. So it worked out. So it's like, okay, now that I'm gonna be doing it on my own and I can't necessarily depend on the co-parenting schedule, what do I need so that I can be the best mom and I can take care of my self-care because like I said, it's so important that you don't even pour out of empty cup when it comes to being a mother. So working yourself to the point where, you know, it's just, I've learned so much in this journey, you know? I learned that you can't do it all by yourself. And so whatever I need to just be successful with my household in this new area of my life, I am going to do that. So we'll see. I got some pancakes cooking. Let me see if I can. Y'all see them? I don't wanna mess them up. But I got three pancakes in there. That's why I wanted to use this big pan because like, okay, I can literally do three at a time. I need to get one more plate for pancakes. Got that, so my pancakes be busting y'all and they be like a perfect brown and everything. I really love them. They're so tasty. I'm probably not gonna eat pancakes this morning. I probably won't eat much of nothing outside of protein shake. My appetite has just been like, When we first split up, it was like, then it was like, now it's like, <laughs> so I make things for my boys, but what I eat, child, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. My mom, she is super, like, you know, understanding that I'm an adult, but she's like, especially in this journey, of course, you know, she really didn't have to do this before. But in this journey, she's like, I want to call you and make sure you eat it and make sure you do that. But I don't want to be on your back. And it's just like, I'm thankful for my support system because they all just work together. And I had to tell my mom, if you feel me to call me, just call me. Cause, because sometimes even I express to her, the calls can be overwhelming because it's like, you got all this stuff going on and then when you feel like somebody's on your back. So I get, it's a lot going through a season like this. And I was talking to her the other day and I was just telling her like you know it's 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 an interesting place to be in just you know navigating your life in this new normal and y'all know I'm 27 with my pancake get into my pancake and she purred it I'm 27 and I have been in a relationship for 10 years so it's like when I was 17 I was already in a relationship. And when I was 18, yeah, I got married, right? 
I can't remember if I was 18. I had to be 18. Yeah, I got married at 18. Yeah. So, it's just one of those things where it's like finding, it's an interesting era because I spent a lot of my years where people find themselves and figure out life. I think it doing with the doing it with an individual, so that's what's baked in my mind about even how to navigate life. So now I'm learning once again, not once again, but now I'm learning really for the first time how to navigate life on your own. But now I'm doing it with kids, and because it's really different. Honestly, when I think about it, I was like my mom, I'm like I never even lived alone before, never. I never lived alone because before I moved. Um, well, my partner at the time, I, well, my kids followed, let me be clear. I lived with my mom and then I did do like a period where I was in college and stuff like that. But even then I had a roommate. So it's like, it's never just been me. And it's not going to be me now because I got my kiddos, but it's still me to a degree because there's no other dog. There's no other person my age. Like, so comment below if y'all been through that and. Just how that was for you. You might not have been in a divorce or going through a divorce or, you know, it could have been a breakup or it could have been just you moving out of your parents' house and at a later age. I don't know. It's different. Um, it's different. So, you no, know, those are conversations I have with my mom all the time. So, y'all, the pancakes are looking really, really good. I... Got three done right there, three more right here, and then I'm probably going to do three more. That way, everybody... Well, let's see. I might got a little more batter for more. We'll see. Let me go on and just cook, and then we'll see what we get into. So it is time to plate the food. I went ahead and got the plates out. So this one right here. Oh, I need my fridge is open. Good thing I got that D. This one right here is my. Hopefully this will turn off, y'all, so y'all can actually hear me. But I am going to go ahead and get everything plated. Miles does not like eggs at all, y'all. So. I'm not gonna give him any eggs, but I'm gonna go ahead and plate everything. The two green plates is gonna be my oldest sons. I try to color coordinate when available, um, but sometimes they don't be like that. So you know, I kind of just have to do what I gotta do with what I'm being given, or not necessarily what I'm being given, but what's clean. So we got the pancakes. Now I'm getting ready to put some egg on here. That was time that turned off. I did cheese egg for my boys. Um, because even with them, they're not too big of fans with egg. But if I do cheese egg, they're like, okay, we'll give this a try. But even then, it'd be hit or miss. So if they don't eat their egg, then that's why it really be hit or miss. I'm gonna get mouths on y'all, but he hates it. And it's like, I try not to, like, I also have that parenting approach of keep introducing it to him, keep introducing it to them. But it's like, at the same time, that works. And then sometimes it doesn't work. Let me wash my hands real quick. So it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. Um, puffs on here. He loves these, y'all. These are banana flavor puffs. <laughs> So, yeah, I gave him out some banana flavored puffs because banana flavored puffs, excuse me, because that is literally his favorite. And I'm like, okay, where's a spoon? I need a spoon. I need a spoon. I'm trying, this is all, these are all teaspoons. Ooh, where's the 
what it was. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm not feeling sick right over there. All right, y'all. So here is some yogurt that I went and prepped. So I prepped the yogurt when I was doing my prep for the kids and stuff. Like, cause I have dinner and stuff prep. I even have breakfast and stuff prep. But it just depends on what my morning is like, okay? So today is Monday, and so on Mondays, we do administration work, which means any brands that I'm working with, I go ahead and film them. Any emails I need to work on to, I go ahead and do that. Any meetings I need to get on with my team, I go ahead and do that. So whatever admin type of stuff I may need to do, um, I go ahead and do that. Even planning out my social media, my Instagram, like we go ahead and do all of that stuff on admin day. And that's also the day that I talk to my team and we like strategize and you know, it's, it's a lot of different things. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm also working with a hair company and I'm super excited about that. And I'm going to be in one of their campaigns, which is out of Georgia. So I'm really excited about that. This is gonna be my first like hair campaign where the brand is flying me out and I'm like one of the main people that's gonna be highlighting it. So that's really exciting. So. she give those two almond milk and this the you know everybody else the whole milk and it's because I am talking with Mateo's doctor but I believe that Mateo has a um like milk just does not do his stomach well and like yeah it just doesn't do his stomach well and so I start cutting it like he can have milk in food right but when it comes to just drinking milk it does not do him well and so these two green cups are him and milo's and so since they're identical i just give them both almond milk and then these are justin and marcel's miles Miles has a sippy cup too but i just use this little cup right here especially in the mornings because i'm able to tell like okay how much milk did i give him and everything like that Whereas when I use this sippy cup, I just fill it with juice or I just fill it with whatever. But when it comes to milk or like orange juice and stuff, I kind of just like to, you know, measure it a little bit more. Unless he's having milk just for something to drink. But when it comes to like an actual meal, I like to do that. That's just me though. All right, guys, so here's Mousy. Say hey, Mouse. Hey, Mouse. Boys, come on in. Who's ready? Have a How you doing this morning? Good. How you doing this morning? Have a What? You leave me hanging. Both of y'all left me hanging. Up, up top? Just myself. What you doing? Up, up top? They coming. Down low? Up top? Down low? Did you try to beat him up top? Who can go past it? Up top? Come here. Up. I think you're going to get the rest of the I love you. I love you. I love you. Justin ain't going to give mama hugs. Come here. Not yet. Come here. I love you. I am intelligent. Intelligent. I am handsome. 
And I am the intelligent. The intelligent. Intelligent. Let's pray. Good job, babies. All right. Napkin. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, baby. I ain't put too much syrup on y'all's pancake today. Good? No. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Um, how you doing? Huh? How you doing? You about clean your food, boy. Hmm? Oh. Mommy, how about? Uh, it be your own kids. But uh, he started eating for everybody. And so now everybody is eating, y'all. And um, this is pretty much what our mornings look like. As y'all saw, we did like our affirmations. So before they get dressed, while I'm getting them dressed and changing people who need to be changed, sending people to the party that need to go to the party, we do our affirmations, we do our hugs, and just everything like that. And then one more time before we eat our breakfast, we do it again, and then we also do it at night. So um, I love to just really bake in certain things, I feel like, with my kids because it's like, one thing you can't control is like when they go to school and people tell them what they what they are, you know, because I, I don't know if y'all can relate, but I know going up to school, growing up to school, um, I face just like, I would say, you know, bullying and bullying is very real. And so I try to instill in my kids, like, you are smart, you are intelligent. I say both because I believe sometimes when it comes to being smart, like, you are smarty pants, you know, intelligent is two different things. But when people say, when they go to school, most of the time people ain't going to be using the word intelligent. So I want you to also know that you are smart, you know, to counteract what people say, you're not smart and you're this or that. So I do these affirmations because I really want to bake them in. We also read books that have rep, uh, representation, you know, they might be black and brown characters in the books and they also uplift, you know, kids and stuff. I try to do all that stuff because... That's just the thing about school. When they go to schools, other kids, because of where they come from, try to tell your kids what they are. And I believe that if you can really instill in your kids who they are, it takes more work for somebody else to break them down, you know? Um, and am I perfect? No. Sometimes life be fast. Sometimes I don't always get to say the affirmations in the morning or in the mid, like, you know, but I believe that if I at least set it up to do it three times a day, then I'll at least be hitting the target however many times a day and then it's just like if you do it every day it's repetitive and so <laughs> i ain't mean to have mouse here y'all you good mouse hey y'all i'm gonna be having a whole talk i know mouse is like um how did i sign up for this but i just think it's so important y'all comment down below what y'all believe when it comes to that just building up your kids because i feel like the world tries so hard to take turn them down even on my kids instagram page it'd be grown adults on there saying they got big heads or they got this and I'm just like, no, granted, my kids don't read the comments, but the world is always trying to tell people who they are. And I believe if you know in the inside who you are, it takes a lot more work for somebody to break you down. And so I want to at least install in my, instill in my sons who they are. Is it good? What you do with that pancake? Did you eat that or did that just disappear? No, oh, yes, he ate it. But anywho, y'all, I am getting ready to go in my office and clean up while they are eating breakfast and um, kind of just get my work area stuff set up because I got to do emails and all the many things I told y'all how to do. Um, because mama got to work. 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 <laughs> y'all. Yeah. What you say? You said I'm done? Huh? I'm done? He said I'm done, y'all. Did you drop some? Yes. Y'all. Yeah. I'm done? Yeah, you don't want to say it. All right, guys. So I am going to clean up the kitchen. Um, I 
I try to finish one thing before going to the next thing so that I don't have to spend, the, so that I don't have to like spin the block or whatever. Woo! What you say? Mama? Done. Y'all done? All right. Well, y'all, breakfast is served and breakfast is done. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I am literally sitting down, taking a little break. The kids are playing, guys, and um, whew, I'm tired, but it's just the beginning of the day. I am about to probably get one of these. Um, yeah, you can, baby. I'm going to probably get one of them prime energy drinks that I love. They're vegan, don't have sugar and stuff. So I'll probably crack one of those open and um, get into the day because I am tired, y'all. I didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m. But nonetheless, I already told y'all about um, this kind of like my situational insomnia that I've been experiencing right now, experiencing. But nonetheless, we are getting back to our everyday um, because, like I said, today is Monday, so I'm back to work and we getting ready to get to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the morning. I wanted to film more, but it was just like I felt like I could show you guys like a morning after two after. Yeah, I think he want to watch Hot Wheels. He put on Hot Wheels. Um, huh? It's on. There you go. Turn it up, son. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, but I think I'm gonna show you guys like a morning, afternoon, nighttime, um, and just different kind of videos around the kids to kind of break up our routines and stuff like that. So that it's just easier because I ain't gonna hold you y'all. It's a lot to just kind of film and show. But nonetheless, I am so glad that I was able to bring it to you. And what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know, he took my shoe. Miles, what you doing my shoe? But anywho, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get to it. I got some emails. Oh, I do want to show y'all. Um, I'm going to show this to y'all. I have to go through my photos today that I did from a recent photo shoot. And I wanted to show y'all. They turned out really good. Really, really good. I'm going to show y'all that real quick, and then we're going to wrap up. All right, y'all. So here are the photos. I thought they turned out pretty cute. The look, they haven't been edited yet. These are just like the raws from my photographer. But um, I ended up doing like these white thigh high boots. And this is a Fashion Nova set with a Fashion Nova shirt. Um, and so I'm excited to see what they think about them. But it turned out real cute, real nice. We did that. We did that. Let me know in the comments what y'all thought. So well, that's one of the things that is on my list today. I need to select the photos um, for that campaign. And then that's pretty much for like my fashion and model side of things that I do. And then I also have to follow up on my book cover because, you know, I'm redoing the book cover. Check in with the audio uh, book studio place. So it's a bunch of admin stuff I need to get done today, but I'm so, so excited. Um, God is doing so much. I am going to be doing, when I get together with my publicist, I am going to be doing a book cover release party. So I'm really excited about that. Um, if it's something that you guys want to come to. Hold on, baby. What? Y'all hear me say, hey, hey. Hold on, baby. What do you need though, Justin? Huh? What you need? Hot Wheels. Um. Uh, Cause I almost lose my train of thought. What, 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 what was I saying? Um. Oh, but if that's something you guys want to come to, I'm trying to figure out like whether I want it to be like open to the public or whether I want to do like invitation only. Whether I just want to do like my close friends, family, and like influencer friends and associates and other people that's in my career. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. Y'all comment down below. But it's going to be a really special moment. I'm super excited. It's been a long time coming. And I'm really excited to just move forward with my math where I used to be brand. Um, it's a lot going on, but God is good. And so I am, whew, I'm having to get to it today. Get to it today. I am um, actually about to go wake up Maverick, y'all. He's been asleep. 
but like that boy can go he can sleep he actually kept me up last night we both was up looking at each other so it's like i guess he's pretty much sleeping in i don't know but i'm about to go just check on him i went up there about 15 minutes ago because it was time for him to get up and so i'm like because he follows a really strict routine but also one thing with him is if i'm off my routine so i went to bed at three it just affects him it's like you know, because he's the only one that be up with me throughout the night type stuff. So, let me go get my baby boy. I'm going to show y'all him as well. Y'all here just in my office. Then Miles is on the floor of my office. What you say, Miles? Huh? Y'all, Miles is so sweet. But I'm going to show y'all Maverick at some point in this video. But I am getting ready to wrap up so I can get to work. Alrighty, y'all. So, here's my baby Maverick. Y'all can tell he was sleeping. Look at him. You can see it all in his eyes. So, y'all, I am getting ready to wrap up this vlog. It's been a really great morning. I'm tired. But like I said, I got to get to work. And Mondays just be Monday, Mondaying, regardless of how prepared you be or try to be. Mondays just really be feeling like Mondays. Look at him. Mondays just really be feeling like Mondays. But make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop another video. Also, make sure you're following me on all social media platforms. Like, we got to be locked in. We got to be locked in. I love y'all so much. I feel like this vlog was chaotic, but it was real life. Realistic. And so I just wanted you guys to get a little peek into um, our mornings and breakfast routine per se. So let's go off and enjoy the day. Let's pray real quick. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way. God, I pray that you'll cover us, God, as we just go through this new week. God, I thank you for your angels that stand guard. God, as we travel on the highways and byways, God, I thank you. God, for your love. God, I thank you for your joy. God, I thank you for your peace. God, I thank you for your understanding. God, in the midst of things we just don't get, we don't understand. God, I thank you for carrying us through. God, keeping us. God, I thank you for, <laughs> I know that's right, baby. I thank you for protecting us loving us and being there reminding us that we are the head and not the tail god reminding us that our vision the vision you've given us will speak we don't have to speak the vision to speak for us so god we are encouraged to let people say whatever let them talk let them do let them be but god as we continue to walk in what you said and do what you tell us to do god our vision will speak for us so god i thank you for that God, I thank you for your word. God, I thank you for just a renewed mindset. And God, I thank you for the faith to keep going every day. God, I thank you for filling up my cup, God, so that I can pour out, God, into those around me, those I love. God, I thank you for everything. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, this has been an amazing vlog. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell. And also make sure you follow me on all platforms. Peace. <laughs> oh,